Well, good morning and welcome to the great outdoors down by the water here in Niagara. It's funny how money, Mother Nature, you never know what she's gonna bring. Because we had this whole master game plan on this Monday morning, because we're with the Niagara Plain Air Artists, who, uh, this is uh, Cindy, everybody. Hello, Cindy. We had this great game plan. Yes, we, we did. We were gonna set up shop, you're gonna teach me how to paint, <laughs> but Mother Nature is bringing the wind. It certainly changed things today. So, so she's, she's bringing some wind, but that is not stopping many of the artists who have come out here. So what is Niagara Plain Air Artists? Well, it's, it's a very informal group of artists that get together that love painting outside. And uh, it's, it's a, a great group that's very passionate about painting in the outdoors, very informal. Uh, we love to paint, and uh, you can see even from today, everybody's still excited about well, painting. Well, they're, they're, they're still here. They got, the, they got wonderful setups. Who are the artists? Are they professional artists? Are they well, amateurs? Are they just starting out? We have different types of artists. We have artists who are professional, who are showing galleries and sell their works in different venues. We also have artists that are starting out. They're trying to learn different skills, manage techniques, and mastering what they want to do. And, uh, you know, in hopes that maybe they're going to be the next emerging artist. Yeah. And then we also have art enthusiasts and hobbyists who uh, have a, a, a really safe and, and a very uh, very nice environment, a very um, positive environment to learn their artistic talents and, and to come out and create. So it's all three different types of artists that come. And all different types of painting that they're using? Or, or There's all different types of medium. We have people who work in watercolors, pastels. pastels. We have people who paint with oils. We have people who paint in acrylic. So, there's all different types of mediums and we welcome all artists who come out and it's not so much your skill level as your passion to create art that's how, important. How do you choose locations? I just try and find locations that there, there's both private and there's public locations. Uh, depending on the, the time of year and the weather, we come out to parks, recreational facilities, there's wetlands that we park, that we paint at. Uh, Niagara Parks has a lot of great venues, the botanical gardens and down by the water, but down by the falls. We have uh, Kingsbridge Park and Dufferin Island. And private locations, they, they just vary so much. They range from wineries, they range from um, uh, private homes, farms, businesses. And you also have events coming up. And you have a great event coming up on 13th Street Winery. Yes, we'll we We'll get to do. more information about that. There's a, kind of artists scattered all over. So how about we take a break and then we'll kind of skip around to see what everybody's kind of doing because they've kind of picked a different landscape and they're dealing with the elements <laughs> in Mother Nature on this, uh, on this Monday morning, That's the second great. day of August. We'll be back with the Niagara Plein Air Artists on Morning Live. We're not going to let a little wind stop us. Welcome back to the waterfront here, down here in Niagara. We're with the Niagara Plein Air Artists. And we're, uh, well, we, I was supposed to be painting too, but we kind of had to alter things a little bit. Here's Cindy Sheridan, who uh, started the group. How many years ago now, Cindy? This is our fourth year that we this painted is, together. And Plein Air, what does that mean? It just means painting out on location. Why, why focus just on location? It's just such a beautiful area, and when I started painting uh, uh, with workshops a few years ago, maybe about four or five years ago, we painted a couple times outside, and I really understood that this is a good place to learn new skills and to be able to uh, master um, art techniques a little bit better because it's, you're, you're painting from real life, and everything changes. The weather changes, uh, sometimes the temperament of, of what you see outside changes, and it, it's just a very challenging, but a very, it's actually a very addictive type of, uh, of painting. And it's, it's, you just end up loving it. We're getting some fierce winds today. Yes, we is are. That, is that a good thing for you, bad thing? Are you just adapting to anything that? Well, we, we try and adapt to, to weather situations. Uh, sometimes we have to anchor down our easel. Sometimes we have to paint in little coves or paint different things than we originally intended. So we have to change with the weather and that's fine. It's, it's just the way it is. But there, there are only one session, like you're just here for the morning because we, if you came back another day... It'd be totally different. Everything, lighting, wind, yes, yes, it's absolutely. a whole different landscape to it. Totally different, but that's the fun of it. That, that's what makes it very interesting and exciting. It's different every time. And so sometimes we come back to the same places and it's totally it's different. Totally different. Yeah, you're it's different. The, you're the light is different. different. 
the colors are different, everything is. Well, there's a bunch of people just kind of scattered all around dealing with the elements, trying to hold down their work. Mm -hmm. uh, the exciting event coming up at the end of the month, the end of August at 13th Street Winery, which is one of the gems not too far from here. You're going to be displaying some of the art, art, works of art. Yes, we, we painted at a three-day event at the winery. They were so kind to host us, and they've, they've also given us the opportunity to have an exhibition at their, their gallery, their bakery gallery wine, at the winery. So it's, it's really exciting for us. We'll be there from August the 28th for one month. Right, and you can get the best butter tarts in Absolutely. the world at the 13th Street Winery. <laughs> there's a rumor, there's a couple artists around the corner that have found the spot away from the wind. Mm -hmm. We'll try and find them when we come back at the Niagara. Plain Air Artists on Morning Live. Good morning and welcome back to the shoreline here in Niagara. It's angry, but that's not stopping the Niagara plein air artists from working on their craft. We have John here putting together a beautiful landscape. And we have Cindy Sheridan who started the whole group a few years ago. <laughs> this is the spot for us because look at your hair looks wonderful. Thank you. It's out um, of the wind today. Well, out, out of the wind. But again, as we've been saying all morning, it doesn't stop you from coming out and exploring the outdoors and, and what it brings to you when we, it comes to art. We painted in storms, uh, we painted in, in actually snow. Really so it's, it's been a great experience to so, come out. So this is a group that gets together how many times? We come together once a week and we paint on Friday mornings from as early as you want to start till about uh, noon, one o'clock. And in the winter we find winter locations, inside locations right. to paint. And how have you did you know any of the artists, or they just kind of you got to know them over time? Uh, some of them I knew from different uh, uh, from different art associations, right. but now we're, we've become a close knit group of friends. We're a nice community of artists, so and you can't paint in a vacuum. So it's really great to to be able to paint with other artists who can give you tips and techniques and help you out in certain in certain aspects of how you're painting. What's John using here? Do you know? Uh, John is probably using oils. Yeah. Is it, is it acrylic? Goulash. Oh, goulash, okay. So it's a little bit more uh, opaque than a, than a watercolor, but it acts in, in much the same way as a watercolor. Now, we haven't seen any of your paintings. What do you normally paint? I normally paint or, in acrylic. In acrylic, yes. okay. And there's all different types of mediums that we've seen a all bunch of them here. All different types of mediums. I paint in the studio with oil paint, but out here, out on location, it's just easier for me to, to bring out the acrylics. It's beautiful, John. We had this whole game plan where you're going to teach me a thing or two. Yes. So we'll have to we'll have to do that another time because there's whole steps to kind of go through, especially yes, for an amateur is. like myself or, or a newbie like myself. Yeah. Uh, we've been mentioning all morning, 13th Street Winery at the end of the month are going to be displaying some of your works of art for a month. Is that yes, how long for, they're going to be doing? Yes, for a month they're going to be uh, displaying our works there. So we're really excited about that and really happy. And this is the second time we've had a, an exhibition and a show and a sale. And this is free. Like, do you guys critique everybody's work once you're done? Or are you just kind of... No, not really. We yeah. have a Facebook page okay. and anybody can find us on Facebook. And we post our works and we, we ask if we want to be critiqued. And, and uh, it's, it's just a, a wonderful community. We can see what everybody else is doing. Yeah. We can help each other out as well. And it's, it's just great to see all the works of art. John, looks wonderful. That's cool. fabulous. Great job. Um, great meeting you. And uh, we'll have to do this again well, when maybe another, Mother Nature cooperates a little bit better. Thanks so much. But for Steve. now, the focus is on the artists. And they've done some great work.